Burzahon. Burzahon is situated 24 km northeast of Srinagar in the Kashmir Valley. The site typifies the northern Neolithic culture. The first discovery of this site was made by D. Keda and Patterson in 1935. They laid out some small trenches also. They however thought that the site belongs to Indus culture. It was uh, Khajanchi of the archaeological survey who excavated the site from 1960 to 71 and established this Neolithic character. The deposits at Burjaho can be divided into four periods out of which the first two are Neolithic, the third Megalithic and the last early history. Pit dwelling is the most distinctive trait of period 1. Both circular, oval and rectangular squarish pits were used. Circular pits were bigger and deeper. A large pit had a month of uh, 2.7 diameter expanding to 4.6 meter at the base uh, with the depth of 4 meter. One can even see the marks of long cells left during the digging. Post holes around the mouth of this pit must have been used to cover it with a roof as with a birch and hay whose charred remains have actually been found from such pits. Incidentally, Burzaho in Kashmir language means the place of pits uh, Loans are dry with the walls of the pits as the walls were plastered with mud. In case two uh, adjacent pits were connected by an arched corridor, charcoal, ash, potsherds, etc. were found from these pits. From some of these pits, irregularly dressed canonical stones, 1 to 1.5 meter long and 20 to 40 centimeter wide, were discovered, though their use is not clear. There were steps cut into walls to go down into the dwelling pits. The squarish pits were shallower compared to the circular ones with an average depth of 1 meter. They had depressions run, running all round at the bottom of the pit with post holes at the four corners. They had stone ovens at the center of such pits as well as under overground. There were refuse pits on the surface. They also lived on the surface whenever the climate was favorable. The number of the squarish pits is larger towards the north of the megaliths and of the circular pits on the south. Deeper pits must have been used during winters when the valley becomes snowbound. The shallow pits could have been used during summers as suggested by Rajna Kao. A variety of brownstone tools were used by the Neolithic people, namely for polished axes, harvesters, pounders, polishers, teasels, mace heads. Harvesters are rectangular stone knives with two or more holes on the plant side. This type is not found anywhere in India, but only in the North Chinese Neolithic site. Stone quants and grinders have also been reported. Pond has done microwave studies on these tools and he finds that the so-called ground axes have been variously used as axes, teasels or axes. The home tool industry of Burjaho, unique and most developed of all the Neolithic cultures of India, it comprises harpoons, needles, awls, spear points, arrowheads, daggers, scaffolds. The Neolithic potters of Burjaho made graceful pots through the use of wheel was not known to them. Though the radiography of the pots, Pant has shown that they were made by a coiling technique. Pots were made over mats as is indicated by a variety of weaving patterns impressed on the bottom of the pots and were uh, occasionally decorated with incised and notched designs. Color range varied from steel gray to brown. The earlier dwelling pits were given up in period 2. In fact, they were filled, rammed and sprinkled with red ochre and used as floors for their mud and mud brick houses. Or if occasionally, raw rubble structures are also encountered, mud platforms with partitions in them, or partitions in them, hearths, oval pits are found inside these homes.